on, buddy? This is John Bane. I want to welcome you to Ark Survival Evolve. Hopefully, you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you, guys, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you can be here when stuff happens. And, well, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we're going to do it. I, I farmed a bunch of chitin again, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll take down the other build and put up a new. Yes, it's going to happen. Uh, is that? That's a fertilized one. Oh, boy. How many eggs have we gathered? Tell me you're still running. You're unpowered. How many did you... Oh, God. Uh, where is my generator? I'm out of oil. I mean, gas? Yes, we are. Crap. Do we have gas in here? We do. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have a couple more eggs. That should pick that up. We're good to go. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, we got the grinder last time to grind up the mats of everything we did before. Someone commented it in the comments. So that's what comments get down is the, in the comment section. Um, but uh, that uh, we could turn off the the cementing paste requirements to in, in the configs and up up like wood or metal. Um, we'll consider that after we go and uh, see what everything's gonna end up, how bad it's gonna be or how bad it's not gonna be. That's crazy. Just sat there and, and pooped out an egg. I'm going to go over here. Oops, that's not the one I want to grab. We want to grab birdie, not par. Par is going to chill. And I believe birdie would be an IE for, for, no, it might not be. I don't know. I'm thinking for golf, golf wise. Let's grab this thing right quick. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Other than loving. Ooh, okay. I'm getting hit, getting hit, getting damaged, getting damaged. I'm okay. I'm fine. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and head over to the other establishment right quick. And it is, I still haven't renamed it yet. I've took down a couple of the front walls because I teleported there a couple days ago. Wall was in the way. Couldn't get out with my dino. So this is out of there. Uh, let's put this on for safety. What? So chill, chill. What the hell? <laughs> Red Paul the Lost. <laughs> it's tamed. Oh, I can claim it. Okay, somebody left me Red Paul the Lost. That's hilarious. With a reindeer outfit. Oh, awesome. Very nice saddle. Wait, wait. Unfortunately, all of my traveling caused me to lose some of my memory and cannot remember how to fly on the face or the face of my master. Uh, my name is Red Paul and I am lost. I have traveled through dimensions and through time looking for my long lost master. Would you be willing to take me in and give me a home for I'm weary of all the traveling and would like to find a home? <laughs> Very nicely done. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, Dova can Okay, so that was uh, probably Dragon Bats' group. That is amazing. That is awesome. It, it's not, it's not going to fly like the other ones, but still. Ex <laughs> That's awesome, man. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate Ridpaul the loss, because you know, glad he's not lost anymore. He's now great again. Oh God, what? Which? Which? Oh, I don't even remember. Like, the great. Are we on the ninth now? Oh, you can't see it with. My... Okay, then we'll remove the JB on it. I mean, Ridpaul. Rid. Paul, off. I don't even rid off. No, it was rid Paul. I don't even know the great. <laughs> uh, and he's. We'll do the ninth. I don't. I don't know. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But we have rid Paul the great again. That's amazing. Even if you can't fly, you're still great, man. You're still great. Exactly. Exmarrow to you too, my friend. I missed you. Do you have food on you? Okay, you do. You, you're okay. So, uh, what we need to do... Can I put you on the ground? No, it needs a placement on the floor. I didn't bring any... Oh, uh, shoot. I need to grab some of the floors. Um, I do have storage here. So, um... Let's do this. Let's head back. Let's go to the... Beach house. I'm gonna grab... I, I made a couple foundations... Well, several foundations of both types. And, uh, we're going to... Use those... To set up, uh, where are they at? Right here. I hope I, ha yeah, I have enough weight. I'm good. 
use this to set up. I just did a random number of them. Let's go over here. Let's take this. Let's go back to last remote location. And Ridpoff likes the cold, so hopefully he'll be okay hanging out there in the cold. So what I want to do is at least take our how we squared out the main build, because that took a minute to get it to where I was happy. So I'm just going to take these two spots, and then we're going to start picking up everything. Everything. Um, I would. I don't know how much fun it would be to watch me remove all these pieces, but uh, I'm going to remove all these pieces, all of them, every single one, because we're going to grind them all up, take the mats, use those for other things, obviously, for constructualization. So anyway, yeah, let me just go ahead and start taking this this thing apart, and we will we'll be back when the damage is done. Okay, well, we got it all taken apart. It's all gone. Only Ridpolf, Birdie, myself, and the Otter Lingus, well, whatever his name is going to be, um, is, is with me right now. And a couple foundations, and I threw down these foundations to, put, to organize our little crafting area a little bit better. So we have uh, the chest in here. I've grinded up mats. As you can see, we went. We had a good amount of mats. Um, I did make a couple more ceiling pieces, and I brought my cementing paste with me. Um, and I pulled those from there to get that. Let's grab you and let's grab you here. Actually, I should probably could do some crunchy times. Crunchy times, best time. All right, so let's do this. I like the height we had. And is it going to, it will let me snap to the tops. Okay. The triangles have been super finicky on how they're willing to snap. So we may have to, I, I, one, well, it's not, there's some super finicky right there. It does not want to snap to the top of that one though. Okay, so we're going to have some issues here and there. Let's just do that then to make sure we can get what we want to get. And let's see. I guess we can put you in the middle too just to make sure you're there. And that looks weird. Oh, there's a wall still on that or something? Wait, wait, what is this? Oh, there were some walls still stuck in here. No wonder. Okay, that broke the other one. Okay, that was that looked weird. No wonder it looked weird. Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and get some stairs made, too, just so we can get up on here once we get moving with it. We'll do, like, let's do, like, ten. This way we can at least access our areas. Uh, and I'm thinking middle is this middle. That's off. It should, probably should be over one. Uh, yeah, there's another wall in here, too. Did I do an even wide? Why does that look weird? Even wide. Lots of rough like butterflies. All right, so let's put this up like that. This is just getting our line across the front. So I can kind of get an idea again of where we are at with pieces and stuff. That one went over one. Then this one can go over another one too if I don't fall off. I mean, why would I fall off? <laughs> I've never... Zero deaths. And we might redo some things to... That's not right. You're wrong. We might redo some things to have the basement and stuff like that going on in here. But for now, we're just going to do like this is this is the thing. I'm just really iffy on these corners. Like, really iffy. All right. So we can try to come over one more. I'm kind of scared to go down here. Why, John? Because it's scary. Uh, let's do this. Oh, come on. Snap underneath it. Or next to it or something. Really? How about over? No? It doesn't want to snap over? Okay. Well, that's not good. Um, let me get up here. That's not good at all. Um, I guess we need to do some ceilings, I guess, already. Let's bring out 20. Let's also do some walls. And I need to... Ver I think the one-third was the walls that were the same height. So let's do one-third, and then let's also pull in these. Enough for these. Put you on six. Let's 
Let's bring you out. And this way we can toy around with some of the stuffs too. I guess I should have left those foundations so I could have gotten over there with it, but whatever. Yeah, that's weird. You're weird, John. I know I'm weird. And it does not want to go into there. Now, if I put this, will you snap underneath it? Okay, you will. Will you snap underneath you? You will. Oh, you know you want to get underneath there. There it was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the snaps are a little janky. That means we, we're we going to have some fun with this if we use a lot of foundations uh, in different stacking formations, if you will. So let's see how this looks for the middle. This actually looks right for the middle, even with the thing we added on the side. So how many do we have here from the middle? We have off the one here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. So that we'll use that as our basis for our base. Now with the new triangles, since they're not 90s or anything like that, we can kind of do more rounded stuff. I'd like to go ahead and still have like the same kind of front feature we were going to do before. I better put that down there and then put this one that we're going to do before. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, have that kind of a front on here for now. Again, we'll get into more stylistic stuff once we get a footprint together and uh, get the rooms done. I, I just want to, you know, the, the detail work I do on the, what we can do for expanding and making it look better is uh, done for me after the main, like, shell and or portion, you know, the focus of the build is done. And then we can go back and make it look pretty. Um, so just trying to get a good thing that might influence what the uh, details should be is what the important part is. Okay, so let me go ahead and start throwing stuff down and getting some more things up, and we will, we will, we will be back shortly. Okay, uh, I've been working pretty hard here. Uh, <laughs> I need more triangle foundations. Uh, this, some of the stuff is snapping extremely unpredictably, and some of it snaps as it needs to. The predictable indications happen with triangles more than anything. Uh, this is a mixture of ceilings and foundations, which I'm really happy how seamless that looks. But then when you get to the sides here, you can kind of... Wait, did it, did it... Now it doesn't look like it's messed up. It did for a little... There you go. You can see the transition right there. That's where it's at, right over here. You can see the transition between the wall... And the foundation from the wall heights. I'm assuming that when we snap the next set of walls on top, that that seam will go away. It might just be the model for the the half walls. Yeah, nice job, nice job, Otter. Um, because if you look at the one of the well, you can see where it connects that kind of too. If you look for it, so I'm not. It's better looking than how the other foundations and walls used to work with the older version. So, I mean, I shouldn't complain too much, but this is just observations while I'm building to voice what I'm seeing. Um, now, I've already come... I've pulled up my stuff for it, but uh, I've already come out this far. And I still want to come out further with some other shapes than just the box. So, I, I decided to move on to try and get some walls up for a perimeter. And that's what we've gotten so far. And we're going to come over here. And what I might do is actually just do, like, towers... For the builds. Um, let me actually take off your, your thing again here. And put on the 100. So I can come up off of here a little bit easier. And yeah. It's been really finicky where it wants to go. And as you can see even now. Like just trying to come up off of here. Has been a bit of a challenge. I might even want to come out further later. I don't know yet. We'll just go ahead and go with this though. And let's try and do. A tower here. Let's just see. So we would need to come over. Well, this might work. Let me get off of you. This isn't really working too well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Birdie. Sorry. Don't get. Don't yell at me. Uh, let's go out one more here. Bring this down. And the problem with some of these triangles is that they won't snap to the bottom. So you have to actually force these squares to go all the way down as much as you can, and hope that it's enough to do what you need to do. But I'm thinking of the wrong thing. We have to do it a different way. Ooh, all right. I'm just thinking of the 90s, how I used to do those. Uh, let's pick these up and see if we can get this to work here. 
But if I do it like that, I won't be able to do... Oh my god, there's so many things I can't do like that. Because uh, it might not line up with the other side. Uh... Hmm. Let's stick with just making a perimeter for now. And then I can worry about that at a later date. And these are just going to come over. And then we'll verify that we can actually work them into... Ooh, into the ground like I want to. And without having 90s, we, ha we have to rely on some of these triangles now. Which I'm not too thrilled at with the way that they're not snapping well. That's not going to work. We need to actually take that one and do it. Oh my god, this is... Uh. <laughs> well, I wanted to show you some of the stuff we're working out. I mean, I've worked with triangles before. It's not like it's a new venture and figuring it out. But having already done this build with the 90s type setup, it's it's a bit of a challenge. And those look like they might go underneath. Um, that line will not go straight. It will go out. And I don't want to do any forcing of stuff to snap. Yeah, let's bring this back one, then. It just won't look as nice and perfect on the edge of this as I would like. So let's see if I can snap one underneath of you. The square triangles, the square foundations seem to be doing pretty good with snaps, except for, like, in this situation. Um, and now this one, there we go. Finally got that there. And let's try this out now. So this should go straight across, and, you know, I don't want to bore you with the same techniques of what we did on an earlier episode, but I just want to share some of the, the fun we're having trying to get things to look a little bit right on the build that we're doing right now. So anyway, I'm going to continue on. Wait, did I have two snap points? I thought I saw it shift. I must be seeing things. Anyway, I'm going to continue on with this. We'll be back. Okay, welcome back. And, uh, well, first off, I'm, I'll, I'll admit it. I have tried to jump on Red Paul <laughs> involuntarily to fly up and look at the build. That's how much of a relationship uh, Red Paul and I have from back in Pugnacia, uh servers or whatnot. So it's kind of funny. But anyway, um, I had to do some, some stuff here to get something to line up. I was using triangles, but then I forgot that they have to have the exact same amount of angles used to line up at the end of the end so i decided to square it out first to kind of get a shape and i'm thinking maybe we can use uh the spaces between this to build like this part's going to be like the big barn um and kind of then round out some things and force uh maybe some angles in here but i had to get something up so that's where we're at uh we're going to do i want to do I'm thinking about forcing a couple towers uh, on the ends of this too, and then rounding out the edges. So there's a way to make ceilings um, and walls snap on top of down to the all like a different type of fort foundation. So like here, like we'll end up putting like maybe we'll figure out which way we want the the tower to is to slide on here, and then kind of go with that. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain until we're doing it, but I do want to do some stuff on the front here and kind of get this at least up. I feel like this is kind of similar to one of the other episodes, but we're doing, we're using new pieces. So I, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> so let's, let's try this out. I'm going to start this one back one instead of, of before. Oh, sorry, Red Paul. Can I even move with you? I can barely. Okay, good, good, good. Let's move this back one just to kind of put the porch with it this time. And those are windows, obviously. I don't think I... Do I have any crystal? I've got a little bit. We can probably try to do the windows now. Uh, there, we'll do four of them. Oh, we need obsidian for the glass, too. Okay. Which, I have to go bring that over in a second. How about doors? Can we do a door? We can. Dumbledore. Let's at least throw that up there. Okay, and I'm about to sneeze. I'm trying not to. <coughs> Excuse me. My bad. I apologize. Okay, so that looks like a horrible. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and grab some walls, too. And I just want to fiddle around with, like, at least some sort of shapes that make it look a little bit more like 
I don't know, like like a beginning entrance to a castle type thing. Hmm. Now, again, I don't want to do too much decorative stuff just yet. You know what would be kind of cool to, to mess with here is to do the the offset doors with a window, maybe? Or maybe just these ones. Let's try that out. To have them go on the sides there. Like, since we had the double door, uh, that would break that if I move that right now. Since we have the double door there, maybe this won't look so, like... Now, the old version has a secret doors, which would be awesome to have some secret doors here, but um, I'm, I'm hoping that he ends up putting them in the game, too, in, in the mod as well. Let's see how that looks like with doors in place. Door. And I can't promise any of this stuff will be, like, the final pieces. I just kind of want to, you know, get this thing set up. I'll probably... I, well, I know I will be. I'll be messing around with a lot of the stuff off camera, too, just to try and figure out kind of exactly what I want to do with it. Um, yeah, that works okay for now. Uh, the fronts here, we should have some more magnificent-looking entrance of, 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 of looking areas here of front in this, I guess you could say. Uh, let's go to Windows. Let's try these ones out, though. And do them in the front. So we have the doubles right there in the in like the main foyer entrance way, and then we have them. Um, I guess we could do this for now, like that, and then let's go over here. And I don't want to take down any trees just yet. Okay, that's not bad. We'll go ahead and put walls up here then. And I love how these will snap like to the sides. Of walls too and have support I think that's great yeah those doors aren't too over the top in the front there I do foresee some pillar action happening here and some other things as well to kind of tie it a little bit better I'm gonna have to sneak some stuff in underneath somehow too okay so there's that now the fronts here um, we'll go ahead and close this off. Well, maybe we could do something different with, nah, side entrances are going to have to hold off. What we'll do is probably use it, build it into the wall. Let me turn the gamma. And go over here. Marrow. Marrow. Okay. Hmm. Wanted to fiddle with this more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab some obsidian from the other base, uh, some other mats, and do some things. Um, and, um, yeah, and I'm probably going to go ahead and build up a forward wall right quick just to have some protection up. I'm not saying I'm happy with using the square type stuff for right now, but uh, that's what I'm going to do until I can work out some angles the way I want. I just got to get some fortifications up. Because I really want to move in here. I don't want to be on episode 27 and then we're finally we're moving in. I want to move in soon and then we can build while we're here. You know, I've done that before. So we're going to, that's that's like my main goal right now. So let me go ahead and go grab some mats, bring them back, fiddle around with us some more and we'll be back. All right, welcome back. And I'm going to turn off my side glass, had that on. Um, we have done some more stuff. I've got the windows in, which again, they look really good. They don't have the features of the uh, previous CKF where you can do, like, the window um, transparency on one side, not the other. But I did something over here. I uh, got the walls up higher, pulled this over some more. And then here I decided to put some arches in to look down. And then we have a wall up there. And then I put a little window right here to see, look outside. I think we're going to do a little bit of a, um, a step out from, from the actual build to have something neat here. Uh, and it's it's... I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm just trying to make sure that uh, I could kind of break up stuff where I can. Um, we are also, I want to try, we are also, I want to try. Good job. We are also going to try something on the edges there. I'm going to do these guys. Let's do four of them. And I'm wondering how these will snap in front of our little arches here. to kind of give some sort of detail work. And I don't usually do detail stuff until the end, like I said before. Oops. But, um, 
This, I'm kind of interested in seeing that. You can see out the bottoms. Mm, I might have to force an offset. Yeah. I kind of like that, but it kind of covers up the beautifulness of the arches, and we don't want to do that. Um, is there something a little less prominent there that could be... Because I would like to put like a, a third wall in there, but it breaks them. And I, again, I can make an offset happen there. Well, maybe we could try that now. Do I have any glass ceilings on me? I don't have the stuff here to make it. Let's go grab that right quick and just try it out. Okay, we made it back. We're alive. We, we got the we got some ceilings. We're going to try this out. I don't know if it's going to break them or not. So we're going to try We'll find out right now. So what I'm going to do is add these on the so front side of it. And can I make them snap to that instead? Let's remove you. And let's remove these. Let's put this one here. And maybe it'll snap to it. I just wanted to make sure that it snapped to those those sides for sure first. And then can we force you to... It looks like you are. Dang it, it won't do it. Yeah, those are both... No, they're the same snaps. No, they're different snaps. So I would to do this, I would have to do a nominal offset. Uh, let's try that out. I can probably make the quarter ceilings here. These, I guess you guys know this. I use this a lot for offsets and whatnot. So um, I'm hoping that we can do a small one with this over. Let's pick you back up. All right, so let's try this out. Uh, we have you, and you won't snap to that. So we got to use this spot here to give me a snap here, which in itself should give us another snap here. Which we can pick you up. We can pick you up. There we go. And I need to drink. I threw down a little tap here. There we go. And I'm hungry again. My lord. I'm going to start putting points into food and water. I'm done with that. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Uh, I should have gotten a ramp or something because now i got to jump down. Well, I can probably go right here. And get rid of you right there. There we go, and then let's put you here, and then let's place this one here. Did I do it? It did. Right? Yeah, it did. So we have two snaps now. Now, can I force you into this one? I can. And can I force you... Oh, that's going to be way too far out. Um, I wonder if we can make the ceiling snap out from that point. There we go. There we go. There we go. Anytime you want to just fall away pieces. That's actually not too bad. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, can we take some stairs maybe and put them underneath? Um, let's come out with some... Well, we could probably use the foundations here. Can we get you to come right... There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, whoa, whoa. Where'd you go? You snapped weird. Let's try that again. Let's pull out a ceiling here. There we go. Hey! That's not too bad. Maybe we can. There's another more de decorative thing. We could probably use the little end tops of the walls pieces for it. Isn't there a cap of types? There is not. There's the closest. Maybe the vanilla adapter might be smaller than the one third. Um, well, let's make two of those just in case. Vanilla adapter. And then I guess it's in the battlements. There's that one and this one. Let's try that one out, too. 
So put the vanilla adapter on. We'll put this one on. I'd like to leave more room for the arches. I'm thinking that the not vanilla adapter might be the winner. Oh, that's actually not too bad. It adds some flavor to it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's just look and see for the sake of testing how... Hey, that's actually even lower than I... Then that's actually a nice little... Huh. Like, almost like a... Not a railing, but, you know, a little miniature wall. Both of those... I might keep that one for now because I don't want it to pull too much of someone, you know, attention to the that description, to, to that... Like, these guys are pretty, pretty detailed, uh, and I want the arches to draw the eye, and that's just, like, a safety little thing. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That looks okay. Okay. Well, I know I've got a lot of work to do here, and uh, hopefully you guys appreciate I know the episode kind of might seem like what we did before on the original CKF stuff, but there's a lot that has gone into this that's different, trying to, because there's triangles are, are equilaterals, not 90s, so we can't do the same kind of stuff. Um, I could use some of the 90s from that set, but then I'd have to use those walls to be on the longer side. So that's not going to work, but this is what we got. I'm going to end up building some more of this for the first floor, because I really want to move in here and be doing this, but... That is the time we have for today. Hopefully you guys are liking what you see. If you're liking what you see, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me a lot. And I really do appreciate it. And as always, guys, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.